State officials told us in April that their online database to search a restaurant's inspection history would be back up and running by July. Well, it's now August. The system is still down, and thousands of reissued permits are backlogged. Bryce Moore reports. Restaurant inspection reports haven't been viewable through the Food and Safety Branch website since January, though restaurant owners say inspections are still being done. Nothing's changed with that. All, they're still doing their due diligence as far as restaurant inspections and making sure that everything's healthy for the public. We've had two inspections already this year. It's just the posting on the website. I think that software, there's issues with it. That software is actually being switched out, and the Department of Health says it's transitioning to a different IT system under a new contract. The old contract ended, and the site stopped functioning at the end of last year, something the House Health Committee isn't happy about. The fact that we're in August now and it's still not available, that's a problem. It needs to get done, and, and our office will definitely work with the heads of DOH to make sure it gets done. The Restaurant Association says the green, yellow, or red placards on the front of all restaurants should still be current, but the food establishment permit posted inside might not be. Thousands are backlogged due to the technical headache over 2,500. They will not issue any kind of fines or penalties, and they will not be charged because of the process that they're going through right now with updating their computer systems. But information on health inspections still isn't searchable online. Since the site went down, did DOH get in touch with you? Did they say, I mean, did they give you a plan? Has there been any communication from then till now? Our office has received nothing uh, from, the health, fr from the health department directly, nor have we received any information on this from the health committee. It seems like there's just no will to really get this done in a uh, speedy manner. DOH officials apologized for the inconvenience in a statement on the website and tell me they are now aiming to have everything back up and running by early fall. Bryce Moore, KHO2 News, working for Hawaii.